Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be kind of a different video than I usually do. I have gone through my collection of fall candles coming up. Well, I did this a while ago, but I have a crate of candles here that I'm going to talk about that I'm going to be using up first when it comes to fall. Actually, starting September, I'm gonna start burning fall candles. So starting September is when I'm gonna start burning these. But these are the ones that I want to get through first because they have been previously burned. They were burned last year or technically 2020 also. I had, I have, I think four candles from 2020 and the other two are from last year. I really don't want to hold on to burnt candles in my collection. I, I just, that's just not really what I like to do with candles. I know it doesn't change anything. Doesn't make, doesn't, like, doesn't affect them other than the fact that when you hold on to candles for a long time, it kind of affects the quality of the candle, like over time eventually. So like, I don't want to hold on to candles just to hold on to candles. And like I said, these all have previous burns on them. So these are going to be the candles that I'm going to be using up first come fall. Even though I have a number of unburned candles from last year specifically and I have all the new fall candles that I bought this year <laughs> I'm gonna get through these first or at least I would like to there's there's one that I'm not sure I'm going to get actually there's two I'm not sure I'm going to get through but we're gonna see what we can do with them <laughs> okay I <laughs> have some sweet tea and now we're gonna get into it so the first one I'm going to talk about, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually end up getting through, is this Vampire Blood. It is from 2020. The notes say Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Transylvania Plum. I burned this, I think, twice. Back, uh, back when we were living in our old house. I burned this, I think, twice. And the outside of this one is starting to get a little you can tell that it's been here a while and like I don't know that I kept very good care of like these candles initially when I first got them I think well okay we didn't have central air and they may have sat in heat in the one spare bedroom pretty pretty significant heat so the outside of this one looks kind of gross so if I don't end up using it up this season I'm just gonna end up getting rid of it because I don't need to hold on to it. I didn't like it. I was definitely not into sweet scents at all back then. So I I was like, okay, no, I bought it because of the packaging. Packaging was really cute. Well, at the time I thought the packaging was really cute. I mean, it's not, not cute, but like, I also <laughs> was just getting into Bath and Body Works. Didn't realize they kind of came out with vampire blood pretty much all the time. And it's not something that I love and I'm obsessed with, so I just want to get this used up and get it out of my collection. This is definitely one that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get through because I don't particularly like it and it doesn't scream fall for me, but I, I'm going to push myself and try and use it when I can and hopefully I'll get through it. <laughs> So the other one that I'm not sure I'm going to actually get through is this Sweater Weather. This one's also from 2020. The notes are Fresh Sage, Juniper Berry, Aromatic Eucalyptus, and Fresh Woods. Yes, the packaging on this <laughs> is like to die for. I really enjoy the matching wax to the glass. Like that's so pretty. Um, I didn't get this candle because I loved it. I got it because Andrew thought he would like it and I'm sure he does like it. I'm sure he does, but I'm the one who burns candles all day long. Um, I burned it, I think maybe once, maybe twice. I don't know, I don't remember, but it's a little strong for me. Maybe it'll work when I put it in like my kitchen in my open area. I'm hoping maybe it'll work, but this is one I really, really hope to get through, but I'm not sure if I will. The Vampire Blood is going to end up getting used towards Halloween. I don't want to burn that one right away in September. Definitely more towards Halloween is when that one's going to get used. <laughs> Which also leads me to this next candle that I have. It's Acorn Lane. This one is from 2020. The notes are Autumn Leaves, Warm Cinnamon, and Crisp Gala Apples. 
Packaging on this one's cute. I burned it, I think, one time. <laughs> but I burned it last year, and the other two that I just talked about, I burned in 2020 when I first got them, and I just didn't like the scents really at all. But this Acorn Lane I ended up burning last year when I was pregnant, and I couldn't really handle <laughs> I was really sick. I had that hyper... HG... I can never pronounce this. Whatever. Hyper gravidarium. Whatever it is. Hypermesis gravidarium. What, however you say it. I was just... <laughs> I was puking constantly with my last pregnancy. So... <laughs> I couldn't handle good smells, let alone bad smells. Couldn't really handle smells in general. So life was a struggle but I really loved candles and I really wanted to burn some fall candles so this was one I had tried to burn last year and I really like it <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy burning it this year it was just not something I could burn last year I just had never burned it in 2020 when I first got it but I don't know that this one's come back out I don't know why it hasn't but <laughs> I enjoy it this one I'm probably also going to burn a little bit later in probably October. I'm not going to be burning this one first thing in September but this is one on the docket. <laughs> okay so the final candle that I have in this little collection here that I'm talking about that actually came out in 2020 is this white pumpkin. The notes are white pumpkin, autumn spice blend, and ground cinnamon. This one got burned one single time last year. <laughs> This scent is my favorite fall scent, like easily my favorite scent. I, <laughs> in 2020, I picked up like four in the same jar style and I only burned through three. That's how I ended up having this one from last year. And again, last year when I was pregnant, I <laughs> couldn't handle scents and I was trying to just burn whatever I could, whatever I thought maybe I could. But again, this was not one that I could take. It's super strong when it comes to the pumpkin and the spices and <laughs> I dearly love white pumpkin. This is so easily one of my favorite fall scents, like hands down. I hope they never stop coming out with this. <laughs> they came out with it again this year, but I did not pick up any more because not only do I have this one from 2020, I have one from last year that I ended up getting. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get through this one first and potentially I will burn through my one from 2021. Once I get through this one, and more than likely, I will end up burning through the one I had from last year, 2021, because this is my favorite scent in like the entire Bath & Body Works candle collection for fall. White Pumpkin is my favorite. <laughs> I'm definitely... I feel like I'm still like the pumpkin spicy kind of girl when it comes to fall stuff. I'm trying to dip my toes into like the sweet scents for fall, but in my heart of hearts, I'm the spicy kind of lover for fall. That's just, <laughs> that's just where I am. I'm trying to get into the not spicy ones, but <laughs> I so far I'm liking both of them, but White Pumpkin has my heart. <laughs> okay, so these last two I have are from 2021 last year. And I actually picked them up last year with the intentions that I could probably burn them. And I, again, I just really couldn't get through any candles. I could burn a few here and there, but like I could not get through anything actively that just was not <laughs> where I was last year when I was pregnant. So, <laughs> so the first one that I have to talk about from last year is Autumn. The notes are bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. This one I ended up burning a number of times, especially in comparison to any of the other candles I burned last year. Most of the ones that I was able to burn last year I could only burn like once or twice. This one I got probably like four burns out of and that was like pretty impressive for me. This one just never struck my fancy before I was pregnant and couldn't handle smells, but when I was pregnant last year, I smelled this one in store and I was like, you know, I think that's subtle enough that I think I might be able to burn this. And I did. I was able to burn it more than not, but I still wasn't able to get through it. So <laughs> this one will be pretty quick and easy get through for me. I, I still like it. I, I don't mind it. Usually I don't like stuff with eucalyptus in it, but 
I don't mind this one. Packaging really never did anything for me, but who really cares? <laughs> So, the last candle that I have to talk about, it's also from last year, purchased last year, it's leaves. And yes, leaves comes out all the time. The notes are crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. The packaging on this one is adorable. This one I only burned one single time. <laughs> the packaging on this one is super cute, like super cute. I really enjoyed the packaging on this. I also really like leaves. Ever since I have been into Bath & Body Works candles, I have burned the leaves in the fall and again last year I thought I was going to be able to handle this and when burn in, I couldn't handle it so um, I have a leaves to burn for this year <laughs> that I've already technically kind of started on. I'm excited to get through this one because I love leaves so it's like a classic fall scent for Bath & Body Works and it's one that I am comfortable burning come September. Autumn Leaves and White Pumpkin are probably going to be the first ones that I end up getting through out of this collection of candles that I'm trying to get through first before I start burning all my other fall candles. <laughs> so yes, I didn't repurchase an Autumn, a Leaves, really any of these candles that I already have. I didn't repurchase actually any of the candles that I have from last year still in my collection. I didn't buy any more of this year, including my most favorite white pumpkin because I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> I'm not trying to collect things like that and I just want to burn what I have and just that's what I'm trying to do. Bath & Body Works does a really good job of making you feel like you need to like stock up on a bunch of candles because you don't want to like miss out on one or if they don't bring it back another year. But if they don't bring it back another year, they're going to bring out something that's similar and you'll probably end up liking that one just as much if not more. But yes, that was my crate of six candles that I have that I'm focusing on getting through first before I start burning my unburned candles. I am trying to keep myself on the same journey that I was on for spring and summer of using up last year's candles before I use up this year's candles. <laughs> but these ones are the ones I need to use up first first. like. First first, <laughs> Vampire Blood is probably not going to get used till October, closer to Halloween. Same for the Acorn Lane, that's just more of a later fall set, that's like a heavier fall set, so. But they're all on the docket to get used up immediately, so. So in the air of using of last year's candles first, I have four <laughs> pumpkin bonfires in last year's packaging because I was nervous they weren't going to bring, like, I was. Last year I was in that mentality. I was nervous they weren't going to bring it out this year and look what they brought out this year. They're, well, they haven't brought it out yet, but they are bringing it out. I saw, I think on Life Inside the Page, Daily Finds on her blog, they're bringing back pumpkin bonfires. So like, why did I buy four last year? Didn't really like the packaging. I just didn't want to miss out on it because I had only had the chance to pick up one in 2020 when it first came out and I like fell in love with that candle. So... I'm not going to end up burning four of those this year, like as a heads up, already, I already know that. I'm probably going to get through one, <laughs> maybe two, so I'm going to end up carrying the rest of those to next year, but all the other candles that I have from last year, I really plan on getting through for this year. <laughs> I am going to let myself burn a few here and there, like some of the sweeter candles. I am going to let myself burn some of those from some of my new ones from this year because I'm not trying to like punish myself <laughs> but I'm just trying to motivate myself and get my poop in a group and use up what I have. <laughs> okay I know this video was a little bit different than what I usually do because I usually do just like hauls and empties and stuff like that but I thought this was a good idea and this is going to keep me motivated and on track because now I have them all in a crate and I'm going to keep them all separate on top of my totes that I have all my crates in. So. These are going to be the first ones I reach for when September finally hits and I'm done with summer candles. <laughs> Honestly, I love summertime. I love the warm weather that like, gets my most favorite, but when it comes to candles, I love fall candles the most. So like I have this weird complex because I'm really looking forward to burning fall candles, but I don't want to get rid of the warm weather in the summertime here because living in Michigan, we don't get very much warm weather, so I don't want to like rush it. but. When it starts getting cooler out, I'm gonna burn my ball candles. <laughs> and I'm gonna love it. 
Okay. That's all I have to ramble about today. Thank you so much for watching my collection of candles that I'm going to be burning first come this fall. I hope everybody has a wonderful day or whatever time it is, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, enjoy it. If you're still into summertime candles, keep burning those summer candles. If you're getting ready for fall candles, me too. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Until next time.